us some more details about Rasmussen syndrome. You know, it's an amazing, incredible surgery when you think about removing half of a child's brain as they can recover from that. It occurs almost exclusively in children under the age of 10. The number of recorded cases is very small. The cause of the syndrome is unknown, although some cases are thought to follow viral infections such as influenza and the measles. Until very recently, the only treatment was to remove the part of the brain like you see here. Since the victims are mostly young children, the remaining areas of the brain can often learn to perform some of the other tasks that the removed section performed. Other alternative treatments are now starting to become available. 11 News will continue following Amber Ramirez's case and we'll have a live update, as we said, on her surgery at 6 o'clock. Of Amber Ramirez's brain. 11 News reporter Londra Booker has been at Hopkins all afternoon. She joins us now with a live update. Londra? Rod, doctors here at Johns Hopkins updated us just a few moments ago, and they tell us that Amber Ramirez's surgery is going very well, so well that she's expected to be out of surgery in just about a half an hour. Amber Ramirez is 15 years old, and she has been suffering from the very serious disorder for the past several years. Doctors began surgery early this morning. They are taking away the left half of Amber's brain, which has been ravaged by Rasmussen syndrome, a disorder that gradually eats away at the brain's tissue. I think in putting everything together, looking at the pros and cons, and looking at uh, the potential consequences, if we don't pursue this route, uh, it is probably worth taking the risk, even in an older child. Again, 15-year-old Amber Ramirez is expected to be out of surgery in just about a half an hour. She will then immediately be taken to the intensive care unit where she is expected to endure several, where she will begin to endure several years of recovery. Reporting live in downtown Baltimore, Laundra Booker, WBAL 11 News. Praise because he brought her through it.